Wow. Those macronutrient frames. I'd say micronutrient frames. Fucking hell, that got my bum clenched. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. I didn't, I didn't get it. Right, we're going back for round two. We're just gonna run over here. Run away from the ghosts. What? We're gonna grab the move winged spear. Oh, my balls. No, you don't do this. Excuse me. Be gone. Ah. No. 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 Ugh. We're low on health here. Oh, that almost got me. No, you don't. Well now, you seem to have well now. <laughs> Shut up. Fucking fight me. Oh, mate, the whole gang's here. Ah, nope. I'm still alive. Oh, I'm still alive. How am I still alive? Oh, oh fuck crying out loud. Okay. Once again, hole. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I'm stuck, mummy. Ah! I am once again a ghoul. I've got a headache now. Human, once more. Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha, get down. With the dirt. Ah. Oh. Be gone, demon. 
Oh, fuck off. Hmm? Fuck you. Ha 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 What? Wow. Oh. I'm not here for you today. That was close. Okay then, let's see what you've got. Oh! You deceived me. You are dead. No hugs for you. Oh. He anticipated my move. No hugs for you. I'm just trying to think to get to the Hydra. It's the other way. Down there. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Let's get this down, we. Glug, 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 glug. Come on there, big boy. Staggered. Oh! Oh. What we want is just down there. Oh, what? What's a scary looking creature? Oh. Don't die on me now. There we go, that's what we want. Oh. Fucking have it. Drink up, because you're gonna need it. Okay, this isn't good. Run! What we need to do is come up here. Hello. Havel. Oh, oh, there he is. Yeah! Oh, that was close. Yes! Fucking have it, Havel. It's not good. Oh my god, how am I still alive? Mm. Mm. Sit down. Excuse me? Huh? 
Kalkoff. We have returned to get your greatsword. Up there is a cunt with a crossbow. Down there is a black knight. Let's go. Do -do 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 Fuck off. Oh, baby, fucking have it. Oh, well, it is what it is. That was scary. <laughs> Look at the damage. Nice and warm. Uh... Down with you. And a little oh, oh. down. Double kill. Huh? Back off. Oh, fuck. Toasty. Oh. Ah, yes. A god tier weapon. No, what are you doing here? Why did I eat that? Oh. Go on, try again. Oh. Try it again. Nope. Try the other one again. Ah! Oh. Get down! Into the dirt. Oh, fuck off. Why do I have the shittest RNG when it comes to the Black Knight weapons? No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Have it. Oh, never mind. Oink, oink. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Ow. Into the booty hole. Bomba clot. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do it again, I dare you. And again, come on. Ah, silly boy. You silly, silly boy. You silly, silly, silly boy. Good night. Another silly boy. Oh, oh no, there's two. Oh, yes. No. Down you both go. Fuck off. Come here. I think we can sacrifice 100% defense for a little bit of stam regen. Ah, empty. Nope. You're next. Nope. You're next.
pathetic. The absolute lot of you. I need to talk to you all together. You're all pathetic. Come on in, big boy. Just me and you. Oh, mate, you're going down. Oh. Oh. Oh, we had the same idea. Oh, yeah. Fuck's sake, I really do have the shittest RNG when it comes to drops. Okay, let's get Magic Man. He's already casting. Pre castellation, aka pre ejaculation. Oh, he's buffed his team. Let's kick him down. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot how fucking strong this they all become. Come down, the tunnel of death. As I walk through the shadow of death. It's actually, uh, as I walk through the valley of death. Magic man, will you stop with your magic? Oh my goodness. One moment. Give me a moment, magic man. Oh, fuck off. Will you stop with that? Fuck off. Stop it. This isn't a dance off, it's Dark Souls. I can do it too, with can do. Trying to parry me. Then Hello, as gold see. boy. Well, unfortunately for you, all I want from you is your ring. I, I, I truly am. But I'm not going to kick him off the edge like a coward. I'm going to fight him like a real man. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Oh, no. Hmm. You're scared, aren't you? Hmm. Pathetic. Hmm. Come on in, big boy. Let's go. Down the bottle. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nothing but a peanut. Will you stop? Your breath smells of burnt toast. Ah, uh, yes. Goodbye. Today we're doing close grip bench press with our feet up, with my feet up, fuck it, with our feet up, we're all doing it together. Working up to a set of five at RPE 7, which is around 125 kilos. So instead of just rambling on, I'm going to uh, get right to it.
<sighs> there is nothing more gritty and to the point than close grip bench presses. It requires sheer and utter strength. One of the perks of having a premium membership at Pure Gym isn't just that you can travel around to different gyms and train there, but you can also use the water dispensing machine and it has a variety of flavours. Now I like the prickly pear. After hitting the top set of 125 kilos for five reps at RPE 7, or from what it felt like, RPE 6, we're now moving on to our back offsets, which is, well, it says 106 kilos, but obviously I don't have the smaller weight plates. So 105 kilos is probably the best bet in terms of what weight I should use. These glasses are starting to really annoy me. I keep falling off my head, which indicates that I need a new pair of glasses, which indicates I need to spend more money. That's not good. That's not a good indication. Anyway, three sets of this, and then I believe, well, I don't know. Whatever's next, I guess. I've just checked my program and it says three sets of eight, not three sets of six. So I've got to do two more. I will never allow myself to fall behind in terms of what I'm supposed to be doing. So if I have to do another two reps, because I missed two reps, I'll do another two reps. Well, I did just do a touch and go set, but I forgot to select my external microphone as opposed to my phone's microphone. So all you can hear is a slight mumble. I mean, I mumble anyway, but it's even worse. So I'll explain again the difference between, well, for me, the difference in pausing and touch and go. Well, like I said, pausing, I'm a lot more explosive. As for touch and go, there's a lot more of a lactic acid build up, a burn or a pump as people call it. I'm going to do another touch and go set because it felt quite nice. I think uh, I'm definitely enjoying the pump around my chest and arms. Even though I'm doing close grip, I feel like it still squeezes the absolute life out of my testicles. It still eliminates all the fibres within. Not as much as just a regular bench press, but still to a degree where it feels good. I typically include one form of pull down or row exercise during my SBD day. However, for today's workout, I decided to switch things up and incorporate weighted chin ups instead. Lately, I've been experimenting with calisthenics, but I'm still trying to determine the best way to integrate them into my workout routine. Lovely jabbly, I think one or two more sets of that and then 
I'll be moving on to some sort of chest body weight exercise, which will be weighted dips. Now, I don't know whether I'll be doing them with the rings. I'll lather up my hands with some lovely chalk and bust out another set of eight weighted chin-ups. Well, I was gonna stick to doing some chin-ups with the 10 kilo plate, but I think I'm gonna finish it with the 20 kilo. Complete and utter destruction of the arms and the back. Oh, it touches the floor, I guess. Does that make it harder? I'm not too sure. Okay. Now, I'm not too sure on whether I'm gonna go straight over to the station, the dip station, and do weighted dips, or do some uh, single ringed chin-ups. So I kind of keep the two together. I suppose I'll do ring ding. I'll do station dips first. Give my biceps some time to breathe. And then once I've got to do my bicep exercise, I'll return back to the rings and do three sets of whatever it says here. Moving on to some dips, some weighted dips. Like I did with the weighted chin-ups, I'm gonna do three sets of eight to 10, unless I decide to go heavier, then six is the lowest in terms of rep range I want to go. But I'll offer you whatever the fuck, basically. Again, it's a deload week, I'm not too worried. You could say that me going heavier than I should will be detrimental to the rest of the block but in the grand scheme of things I don't think there's too much to worry about unless I decided to go balls to the wall throughout the deload absolutely smashing out the heaviest I could possibly go in terms of sets reps and RPE again I'm not gonna worry too much and neither should you I will say I am very curious on my dip one rep mat Bags in the way. Start off here. Fuck it, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do three sets of this, but we'll do one plate, which I've already done, two plate, and then three plate, and we'll see what we can get. Maybe a fourth plate for a fourth set. Who knows? Again, don't worry about the volume. I'm not worrying about the volume because I'm gonna have two days off from gym before I start the other half of the block. In those two days, I'm absolutely gonna chow down on as much food as possible. So, you know, a realistic 30 to 50,000 calories a day for two days become 150 kilos overnight and rep out a 180 bench press 
for an easy 15 reps. What am I on about? <laughs> Stack them up like a sandwich. Good, good. Make sure that we maintain the level of technique to the squat up, otherwise it snaps at you for back titty. I think I could have went eight reps, but because I want to go higher in terms of weight, I'm going to reduce those reps so I can save a level of energy for three pikes. This is one heavy ass sandwich. Treat me well, heavy sandwich. I'll be happy with one clean rep. Four is definitely better than one. I think that will conclude it for dips. Or well, that is dips concluded. I'll tell you what, I need to sit at home and read the entire dictionary because my vocabulary is absolutely gibberish. Anyway, I think I'm moving on to, I've done my back exercise. I've done my chest exercise. Well, chest tricep exercise. And now I need to do some sort of shoulder exercise. So I'm thinking overhead press. Ooh, How you doing, Kyra? <laughs> Moving on to some barbell overhead presses. I usually do dumbbell overhead presses or machine overhead presses, overhead presses. I will speak correctly. If I have to correct myself, I will. Anyway, yeah, so just doing two to three sets of a very light weight, just for reps mainly, a bit of volume. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get to it. I've got work later. <coughs> Do the old military style. <laughs> A clip over the last two weeks, this week being the second week, I'm doing barbell overhead press or military press, more like, because I'm keeping my feet together. Whether you do barbell, dumbbell, or machine. All three of those exercises carry over very nicely to your bench press. As long as you're doing some form of overhead press, then it will carry over very nicely without you having to worry about doing all these crazy variations that are on the internet. Because some of these exercises you have to do fucking somersaults for, which I think is not very necessary. Maybe my view is very old school. You know, I am coming on 30 years of age now. Ooh. But from experience, the simple exercises are the best exercises. I'd say that was a pretty solid set of eight. 
one more of those, <coughs> excuse me, and then moving on to some sort of bicep exercise, which I think will be single ring chin-ups. Whether I do them weighted or not, I'm not sure. Or by the end of this overhead pressing session, I might decide to do some sort of dumbbell or barbell even bicep and tricep exercise. Regardless, a bicep and tricep exercise is an order. Right, I've worked up to 50 kilos, well, 49 kilos, which is an absolute piss take in my opinion. It should be 10 kilos, 15 kilos or 20 kilos. Not fucking nine, but whatever. I'm gonna bust out a set of eight with this and uh, probably follow it up with another set of eight. Harry Swoller, back at it again. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Pound, pound, sterling, y'all. Oh my God. I forgot to breathe. Let's fill those lungs up. Not every set's gonna be perfect. You just gotta get on with it. And one for luck. Okay. Well, that set was shit in terms of holding myself up and not passing out, completely emptying my lung capacity before the first rep was not a good idea. But I soon recovered, filled my air full of polluted, what? Filled my lungs, filled up. You get the point. I think uh, moving on to some skull crushes now. <clears throat> okay, so moving on to some skull crushes. I've worked up to 40, well, here we go again with a fucking nine kilo barbell. I've worked up to 39 kilos. I've done a set of it, and then I'm gonna do another set, and then another set, and it's, uh, it's a wrap after that one. Because like yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that, I've got work. Crush this guy. I would show another set, but my phone's battery is low and I've got to go to work, so.